Guys, today I'm showing you my master, mastering setup template. Let's get into this because I just want to show you guys around. Um, and basically what, why I'm doing this is because you guys can take this. Not every project you're going to have budget, timeline, resources, or a necessity for a mastering engineer. You're going to sometimes have to take on the role yourself if you're not a mastering engineer. And why not give you this information and make it available? I don't know. I just feel like it, it, it can be, if it can help somebody, you know, that makes me feel happy and we can move on from there. So basically, this is my mastering session template. It has four channels. It has the original channel where you put your original mix in or the pre-master into and from there you can do all your processing. That is then bust out to the input of the second channel, which is the capture channel or the print channel. And that basically captures all the audio and processing and records it and monitors it from the first channel. Now, the reason why I do this is for a few reasons. Um, number one, I'm working with analog gear. I have to print in real time anyway, so I need access to having a print channel. And number two, um, in mastering, you should be listening to every single second of the song all the way through on the print. You just don't click bounce and then it exports at a three or four times rate without you hearing it. You're authoring the final master. You have to be making sure that you listen to every single second as it gets printed because nothing can get through and onto a final master that's not meant to be there. So it's really important you print in real time. That's why I have it set up like this. Um, and then the third channel is my compare channel. I have a carbon copy or a copy of the um, original mix so I can AB it to my master and I have reference tracks in there if a client provides me with them or if I see fit that I can A and B to the master I'm, I'm completing. The fourth channel is the master output, that's just basically a master bus and I can put analytic tools in there um, and meters and things like that if I need them and when I need them. That's my setup, it's super simple, nothing over complicated um, and simple as this, there'll be a link in the description below, nick it, use it if you're in Pro Tools 10 or higher and um, take care of yourselves. If this video was helpful to you, like, share, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff and take care.